We're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. Crowd gasp. New York Governor uh, Andrew Cuomo still feeling the heat for a swipe at America, but do millennials actually agree? Let's listen. Do you think America has ever been truly great? I don't believe America has been great for all folks ever, even today. I would have to agree with Governor Cuomo. Can you point to a time or do you think there was a time when America was great? Mm, I mean, not particularly. Campusreform.org media director Cabot Phillips shot that video. He joins us right now with more. It's interesting. The governor has since walked those comments back, and yet the people you talked to out in Washington Square Park, they're, they're right behind they're him. They're saying, don't walk it back. Yeah. We actually agree with you. Look, no one's saying that we should be mandating patriotism, forcing people to, to be proud of the country. But as Americans, we should be able to understand the historical context of our greatness, how we've done more good for the world than any other place. And I think that for anyone surprised by this mindset, it really shouldn't be that shocking. In my generation especially, it's viewed as highbrow, as intellectual to say that America is nothing to be proud of. And also, I think a lot of this stems from people's hatred of President Trump. Mm -hmm. They view as saying that they're proud of America as saying, well, I'm, I'm proud of President Trump. I'm proud of what's going on right now. And there's a misconception that in order to be patriotic and in order to support what's going on, you have to support every single thing your country is doing. And that's, that pressure is sad. Yeah, you went on to ask even more people uh, some of those questions. Let's watch. Do you think that there is a time you can point to where America was great? I don't know, <laughs> honestly. Not great, but like there was definitely some progress. <laughs> and I think we're just regret uh, going through aggression now. It was never really great, but we do do like great things sometimes. Like we fix a lot of problems, but it's never just been wholly great. And I think another aspect of this, one place this stems from is education. We've covered at the Leadership Institute's campus reform. American exceptionalism is really a foreign concept in class and in our education system now and people aren't being taught that. I also asked after this, I said, American exceptionalism, are you, right. what, what were you taught in class about America? And all these people admitted, well, I guess when I was really young, it was that America was great. And then I got to college and my professor started really telling me but how so you're talking about You're talking about college. Yeah. Life is great in college. You get to go to school. You don't have to work in a factory with your nose to the grindstone. Exactly. And I think a lot of people are ignorant of not just the historical context of our greatness, but of the current freedoms they have right now. I think much of this stems as well. You cannot ignore the role that President Obama played in this. For the last eight years, a lot of these people came of age with a president who was sure. making it seem of America is not anything to be proud of, and you should be apologetic well, about it. And he would say, when asked that question, he goes, well, we think we're exceptional, but every country thinks they're exceptional. Exactly. And one of the best things these uh, kids could do is travel, and yeah. then they'll get a perspective, and then they'll come back, and they'll understand how great it is. That's my hope. Amen. That's All what right. we need to do. Cabot, thank you very much. Happy to be on. All, All right, right. Cabot. Uh, four minutes before the top of the hour. Still ahead on this Wednesday, more on our top story. An illegal immigrant now charged with first-degree murder in the death of Molly Tibbetts. A live report from Iowa.